Hey guys, how's it going? No intro today because I'm starting late. This also will be a bit of a shorter stream. Well, like half an hour shorter. I can maybe squeak in an extra 10 minutes at the end because I don't have to cook because I'm making pizza tonight. So you will have to put up with my timer again. <laughs> I was considering just not streaming, because boy, I'm tired today. Working dairy really uh, drains the fuck out of me every week. <laughs> I can understand why Robert's always so tired in there. But at the same time, he gives himself so much extra work to do, so it's like, well, no wonder. Oh, I'm so overworked. Well, stop giving yourself extra work, dipshit. <laughs> but it is a tiring position. You know, you're in the cold cooler all night, and... A lot of heavy lifting, and ugh. Oh, that's right, our armor is hideous. Look <laughs> how god awful this armor is. Ugh. Function over form. We need the defense. Yeah, we need the defense, so we're wearing a hat with no armor. <laughs> Just pure damage. Uh, but yeah, we're almost done with Monarch. We don't have a ton left to do. We got the Rizzo's Lab, the Borst Factory, and then the uh, this quest. That's it. Also, man, I hate Felix so much. <laughs> like, Max isn't my favorite character, but I still like him. And having Felix just shit all over him like that, I'm like, man, I just hate you so much. So if we don't get Felix's quest, I'm just not even going to do it. <laughs> He's just the worst character. I hate him. All of his dialogue is the same thing, just repeated ad nauseum for the entire game. It's like, we get it, Felix. <laughs> I hate the corporations too, but... This wouldn't have changed, would it? Muted. Yeah, okay. Just checking. I usually make sure everything is properly set up, you know, during the intro that I do, but <laughs> I didn't do one today. Let's see, are we on the. Ooh, hold on. There's actually this that I almost forgot about. Little elevator here. On the side of the bridge. Why is this here? So that's cool. <laughs> Big generators. Cascadia Bridge safe house. There's just some corpses hanging out outside. That's weird. Guy, Herbert. <laughs> Collect Spacer's Choice memorabilia. I don't think he does. And actually, you know what? I think this would still. Yeah, that's not even enough, so. A melee strike. Why are you so buff? <laughs> Sugar Ops armor and the candy cane. <laughs> A scythe for the discerning reaper. Oh, 
Hold on, I just wanna... Making a VTuber joke to Dane. <laughs> Also, this is an N-Ray melee weapon, and I don't like N-Ray melee weapons, because... What if I could show it off? Uh, you guys stand over there. I'm going. I didn't actually infect it. Oh, right, robots are immune. Robots are immune to Enrys. Yeah, you remember the, uh, I almost said bully monks. You remember the primals from way earlier? They had those attacks that, uh, infected us with purple shit. Hey, there's a bunch of skeletons in his bed. <laughs> that just kind of did damage over time? That's Enrys. And the way they work is they just kind of, well, like I said, they do damage over time. Also, here's a, a shitload of cereal. <laughs> Make use of our extended inventory, I guess. like few seconds they'll just release a burst of purple and anything that gets hit by it also gets infected by end rays on a single target it's not much because it'll just wear off after a bit but if there's multiple targets all like scrunched up they'll just kind of keep infecting each other over and over again and you can just let them die from the radiation um But it does so little damage that I just never find it worth using. Because I could just, you know, one to two shot someone with this rather than very slowly waiting for radiation damage to kill them. And also with melee, you get infected. Because <laughs> you hit them and then immediately the first burst comes out and hits you and then you're infected. It's like, well, I don't understand and raise at all <laughs> in this game. Like, why are they a thing? It's such a weird... it's a cool concept, but I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something, I just don't... There's a free N-Ray weapon that we'll get towards the end of the game, and I'll demonstrate it with that. Like, maybe I'm missing something, maybe there's more to it, maybe it's actually pretty cool, but... I don't know. <laughs> Dearest Margaret, I fear that... When you wake, you'll think of abandoned you like Rizzo has. I assure you of the opposite. I have commenced preparations to ensure you and Herbert survive until you are both rescued. As for myself, I fear the worst. I will make every attempt to survive the coming months, but the bites I suffered while fleeing from the Raptodons show no signs of healing. I can only hope that you wake before I pass, but in the worst case, know that I love you both. Yours now and well after my atoms have been consigned to the Aether, Howard. Oh, there's so much. <laughs> Quarters here may be tiny, but Herbert continues to investigate its every nook and cranny with utter delight. I am pleased to report that he shows no signs of distress following our sojourn into this humble new home. I have brought with me everything I could take from the surface. Our ex-colleagues continue to try and live above ground, though they have barred the north gate from the encroaching rapidons. They remain unaware as to the existence of this hideaway, and I aim to keep it so. If they find my store of food, they'd surely seek to divide it amongst themselves. 
Recalling my emergency training, though it was years ago, I have managed to secure intubation to sustain you while you sleep so peacefully. Properly rationed, our supplies here will last some years, surely enough that Rizzo will come to rescue us. At the very least, Herbert shall survive well through his adolescent years, with proper rationing, perhaps even into adulthood. As for myself, my wounds have begun to smell. Herbert pretends not to notice, but the way his nose crinkles reminds me of how you used to laugh. How he grows with each passing day. Hope you will not take offense should you one day wake to find an auto-mechanical preparing Herbert's meals or adjusting your intake tubes. It has taken quite an effort and many failures to which my new burns can attest to engineer an auto-mechanical to take care of any person, much less one infant and one comatose woman. With any luck, should the infection in my leg continue to grow, these machines will handily replace my fatherly duties and maintain the loving care required to raise Herbert and nurse you back to health. To my surprise, the cooking model is even capable of limited tutoring services. Auto mechanicals are working splendidly. Their fervor reminds me of my youth years ago before I became the exhausted husk I am today. Part of me is thankful that you cannot see me in such a state, with one useless leg and ominous streaks of black racing across my veins. I will leave you with a word of advice. In the uh, absence of proper undergarments, I have taught the auto mechanicals to wash tanned raptodon hides for reuse. With the last vestiges of my strength, I collected a few from the surface. Should you wake, I beg you, do not go up there. Remain here until rescued. Our colleagues have perished and only monsters now remain. <laughs> Query. Father insists I practice my letters, so here we are. Rizzo's purple berry crunch ready to eat. Triple Kale Flakes, Purple Berry Flavored Power Nuggets, Rizzo's Purple Berry Lunch, Non-Organic Purple Berries, Crackers, Cheese, Pea-Free Nuts. <clears throat> There's always time for Purple Berry Lunch. New. Net weight, 3, 2 ounce, 90 G. Rizzo's Knock You Out, CCN 76 Milk, Chocolate Caramel, Pea-Free Nuts. It's time for a cue. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Today, Father finally let me use the candy cane. It's called a scythe. He showed me how to be safe so I do not burn myself. Maybe I can use it to capture another woolly friend and make him proud. Howard does not move this morning. His tummy is very still and he is very quiet like mother was when Howard took her tubes out and cried all night. I think White Hat is my father now. I don't know if it is able to be proud, but I will try my best. <laughs> you can also mess with the... Uh... Yeah, the mechanicals. Yeah, just a weird little side story down here. <laughs> Sugar Ops armor. Just stock armor, that's cool. <laughs> Got that improved hunter kit. It's heavy armor, apparently. <laughs> I don't remember what the reactive kinematic shield projector does. Like a lot of those. They have these really snazzy names, but then no description. <laughs> I don't know what a lot of these even do. Did a jingle. Oh, is this the terminal I missed last time? What? 
<laughs> How long has this guy been here? And he didn't see or hear any of what transpired in this town last time? <laughs> Get a cowboy hat. I mean, we're already wearing one. weight all that cereal is. <laughs> Point thirty times twenty-five. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I bet nobody set foot in here since Cascadia fell. <laughs> I'll take that. And why are... She's probably never gonna use a lot of this. I just kind of forget that I have a lot of this shit. It just sits here forever. Because the game's combat isn't really hard enough to warrant. Hold on, I'm gonna put on my persuasion gear. Proximity alert. Biology human. Protocol kill all plants. Suspended. Present your Rizzo identification credentials or prepare to be downsized. <laughs> Disengage security protocols and not a threat. Attempting to disengage security protocols without proper authorization is a fireable offense. Priming weapons. I am an authorized Rizzo employee. Password blah, blah, blah. Executive level password accepted. As identification according to employee ID protocol A-3501. Welcome back, doctor. Be advised. Mantasaur threat level is petrifying purple berry. Please use caution. Mantasaur wounds are not covered under Rizzo's health policy. Have a productive day. 
demonic invasion at unsafe levels. <laughs> I like seeing the bodies of just all the shit that went down. <laughs> just mantisaurs and dead robots everywhere. station. It's a gross sound. I think that was just the sound of like faulty electrical wiring, but it sounded like bugs. <laughs> so there's our mantisaur infestation. Traps everywhere. Watch it. What? Oh. Got the attention of something through a wall. Once again, 150. Why do they do that?
Oh, it's doing that thing where my uh, player arrow isn't on the map. <laughs> this game's kind of buggy. Sure. I usually just power my way through this. Fuck. No! <laughs> Because of that, uh, that lockpick door is now um, 150. <laughs> so you can't go that way. I bet nobody set foot in here since Cascadia fell. Oh, hey, we haven't had to update this in a while. I'm still leaving it off, though. <laughs> Quickly run through all this again. I think I have to rebuy this. Yeah. There's just cereal and candy and like an armory locker. Watch your step, Captain. Someone's left traps all over.
wish I'd killed it. <laughs> Alright, so in the interest of... Am I missing something? I don't think there's a way to turn that off. I've always just ran through it. <laughs> yeah, in the interest of not having to repeat all of that again. I'm just going to go back to the door. Because <clears throat> you could pick that and get around it, but we kind of can't. That leads to the Matasaur room. I think this is barred. Yep. Boxes are just fucky. Because it looks like you should be able to, like, carefully just crouch and move around some of the vents, but then you get hit anyway, and then it keeps knocking you back, and you keep getting hit anyway, and it's like, I don't get how the steam in this game works. It just kind of does its own thing. I'm going. See, so, yeah, I'm gonna. Let me put on my regen hat. We don't wear that very often. God damn it! <laughs> that almost worked. Hold on, we can do this. Oh, there's a mine there? <laughs> well, it's another two. Hold on, I have to snipe a mine, apparently. I'm going. I don't see a mine. Oh, it's on the wall. See, it doesn't look like there should be anything pushing me back, and yet I get pushed back. <laughs> Otherwise, that's all there is to it. It's not that much of a section. Frustrating that it works the way it does. Hi. <laughs> I didn't mean to skip your dialogue. Are you suggesting a non-violent solution? What'd you do at the real Nuyoka? Gloriously showering prey in high-velocity shells is quite thrilling, I'll admit. But it ain't cheap. It stains my spirit to say it, but this here's a more economical option. Manosaurs need an oxygen-rich environment, more than we do. We drop the oxygen levels a bit, we can suffocate them. Here, see? Done. Won't be but a minute before they're all rolling around, desperately trying to figure out why they're dying, and why they can't stop it. That is a dark image of only fighting mantisaurs were this easy all the time. It is, though. They're not that bad. Good thinking. How'd you know that? The more you study your prey, the less chance they surprise you. And I hate surprises. 
And we still get the XP for it, so it's fine. I even got confidence for that, even though those weren't my kills. Air quality, fortified with iron, radium, and asbestos. Scent, purpleberry. Change scent filters, purpleberry, purpleberry, purpleberry. Great choice. <laughs> Hallucinations and lung damage. Hold on, gotta update this again. Oh. With double digits, it's now off screen. There we go. <laughs> hey, revenge. So, our stealth thing. We can give it a better stealth kit. So now, if I wear this and this, what does that put my lockpick at? 134. Well, 129 without the caffeine drink. But yeah, I think if I put just a few more points into lockpick, we could actually get to that 150 mark. Because what do we have? One more level into long guns. That's 27. And then... Oh, I need four more into science. I only need two. Well, that'll be 31. That'll leave me with two levels. Yeah, we can put those into lockpick. Four hack with all this. Which isn't bad. Not gonna get us anything end game though.
machinery is making me a mite nervous. The textures here. <laughs> Stop blinking, oh god. I think this is the same kind of room from the Raptodon lab from Roseway, reused. Dr. Thomas Linwood Rial in gratitude. Hi. This is how the Mantasaurs got in. <laughs> they broke the texture <laughs> burst it through the wall and broke everything figuratively and literally <laughs> that's clever thanks Oh, I wonder if this is foreshadowing their lab in uh, Byzantium. I never made that connection before. Mainly because I forget about all these terminals like five minutes after reading them. <laughs> Not even that. It's cool world building, but there's just so much of it. I can't retain all that. Easy. She's right majestic, huh, Captain? It's almost a shame we had to put her down. Uh, let me take a look-see. Okay. I'm thinking, if I patch this into our fuel cell network, we can use the empty tanks to hold this ulta what a biddle stuff. Just gotta compensate for the pressure difference. We burn liquid reaction mass, not gas. And the cells are distributed all through the hull, so I gotta isolate the empties. That looks right. You remember the sticky valve on number 16? Of course I did, Captain. Just gave it a little jiggle. There we are. Good as pretty and twice as new. She could be a complete ass to her. Nice work. Oh, I just... just did my thing. You know. I'm impressed. I would have just tried to blow the thing up. Sure. 
So yeah, this is just a mind control ray hanging out up here for no reason. <laughs> Misfiled form put a research group specializing in marketing jingles to an advanced top secret weapons facility. The research group spent months incorporating their new marketing jingles into the advanced weaponry and developed the mind control array. Once the mishap was discovered, the entire facility was shut down and all personnel were reassigned to the most remote outposts corporate could find. Got some juice on them, too. Am I on the ladder? Okay. <laughs> Don't want to die here. Which is also why I told my companions to wait, because uh, they're likely to just walk off the ledge there and kill themselves. Be right there. Which I've had happen on non-supernova playthroughs. Also, that's it for weapons in the void. see it. There it is, right at the top of course. You found all the science weapons in the Halcyon colony. Many, huh? <laughs> oh, my arms. Everything is so sore. Oh, I'm gonna have a hot, hot bath tonight. It's gonna be great. Or it'll be very disappointing, like my last few baths have been. <laughs> Water didn't get all that warm, and it was just kind of like. Well, it got warm, that was the problem. It was just lukewarm bath. Really disappointing. <laughs> Good secure. Lilia Hagen should be pleased. She's stationed at Sublight Headquarters on the Groundbreaker. We're not going back there just yet. We got one more. One more side quest to do here. What am I doing? I don't need to be in Cascadia anymore. Uh, let me hop back over to Fallbrook. Oh, we're, <laughs> we're in the Constable Station. We're in this half of Cascadia, I forgot. Sealed door that we couldn't get into ages ago.
Oh, I, I don't need any more magnum melts. I have plenty. There's no reason to buy that one. Our fuel cells are now primed with Alta Vitae gas. As the organics say, let us hope we do not explode in transit to the Groundbreaker. Do you have any new dialogue? Welcome back. Hi. Nope. I require. We're now in orbit above Fallbrook, Captain. A second. Felix, where are you? Is your quest finally happening? Where are you? I can't believe I wanted to shake his hand. I need a shower. It makes you wonder if being a treacherous, two-timing coward is some sort of contagious disease, or if he was just born that way. Who the hell are you talking about? <laughs> is this about Graham Bryant? <laughs> At first, I liked what Graham was doing. The iconoclasts were going to change Halcyon for the better. But then, we found out Graham was behind the slaughter of Amber Heights. How can anybody so morally bankrupt lead a movement to transform the colony? <laughs> Don't go looking for role models, Felix. You're just asking to be lied to. Yeah, maybe you're right. You'd never do something like that, would you? Slaughter a whole community of innocents? <laughs> sure, for the right price. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Let's get back to it. I need to put all this ugly business with Graham behind me. Good to see you. Okay, so not his quest. He just has dialogue with Graham, which I didn't know about. So that's cool, I guess. I'm gonna sleep. Because <laughs> character is sleepy. And then I'm gonna launch. I'm gonna drink. It's really hard to see those uh, meters. It's hard to tell if they're full sometimes, so I drink a little more than necessary. And there's some items that only give a little bit of thirst back, and then some that like completely fill it, and I can't tell. <laughs> Arthur today? Arthur? Actually, where is Arthur? Because we were told that he made it back safe. I should look for him. <laughs> he might be in uh, Malin's place. Launcher 2.0, yo. <laughs> Level 30, this thing is real strong. Cushioned souls? Oh, walk speed, 10%. That's less useful than sprint speed. <laughs> magazine and sight on a pistol. That's pretty incredible. <laughs> Wooly fillet? Neat. Bag of tobacco corn ears is apparently meat. Not what I was expecting. I 
these fuckers respawn? Could go into the front, but could also go in this way. guard that I usually kill in the bathroom that I was talking about. Oh yeah, nothing here is stealing. <laughs> Apparently. I can just take all this. Financial records. My intelligence is too low, so I can't actually do that. Spam mods. I don't know what's worse the taste of forced and beans or the stench that comes later. Twenty-three hour shift.
Let me get another one of these. Cold armor padding. back to the front door. And there's a workbench here. Can't go in that way. I actually need the restroom. I'm going to be right back. So have this.
And I'm back. I didn't think that would take uh, the whole song, but I went and preheated my oven a little early. Well, started it. Because I would have to get up in 20 minutes and do it anyways. I figured, let me just do it now. I stuck on Get the your robot. Move. <laughs> also, are they here yet? No. But the CMP Borse Factory is actually a faction on the faction list, which I find weird. <laughs> because unlike Auntie Cleo, I don't think you actually lose reputation. Or, you don't, um, like, get a surplus charge. Nice. So you could do this and kill pigs, which counts as, uh, sabotaging. Where do you think you're sneaking to? Production line is that away, you worthless gadabout. Oh, come on, you aren't gonna report me, are you? I'm darn well thinking about it. <laughs> Get it over with then, I got places to be. All right, that's one for shirking your duties and another for the smart mouth. Earned yourself two infractions, and you know what Slaughterhouse Clive does when an employee racks up three. Now get back to work before I give you another. <laughs> Never mind the fact I'm crawling around. Hey, looking good. Thanks. Why do you have sublight armor in here? Where are we going? There's somebody over here, but I don't think you can actually get into that room. Yeah, that's not even a room on the map. <laughs> there's no way over there, but there's someone in there. <laughs> not even sure if that room exists. I would love improved weapon mods, but I don't think those exist. I think it's only armor mods. Attention everyone, I have an important announcement. Huh? What's going on? The king would like to invite you for dinner. Like I don't know what that means. Not only no, but void no. I quit. And he can keep my final paycheck. And that actually mostly clears out this room. Aside from- oh no, even the soldiers are leaving. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think it's just the mechanicals that stick around. They all materialize out of existence. <laughs> Like it's dematerialized. <laughs> the pink slip protocol. You can also do that and have them kill everyone. Sinew, hair, hemoglobin, and other organic materials. <laughs> Would you like to run a deeper diagnostic? Processing keystrokes? No, 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 no. There's only one arrow in there now. <laughs> I think someone was in there with a robot and they just got shot. Yeah, we do still have to stealth around the robots. But there's far less people in here now. Well, there's no people in here. It's just the robots. I don't have Nightingale step anymore, <laughs> so I actually have to be quiet. Just sneak this onto your data pad. Just be careful, all I know is Tammy spied Slaughterhouse Clive feeding the Sisty same questionable meat, awful bloody with bones poking out of it. Says later she found a hand in the trough, she screamed. Now Tammy's been downsized too and the pigs keep getting fatter. This is another way to sabotage the place. Is this the proper way up? Oh, this is just straight up his office. <laughs> I don't think I've ever come in this way before. Yeah, there he is. Before we talk to him, though. throw down a save. Howdy. Whoa now. 
And just what do you figure you're doing up here? These are my private quarters, friend. I don't allow tours up here. I don't allow tours ever on deeper consideration. <laughs> he almost looks like a ghoul from Fallout. <laughs> you got blood on your shirt right there. No, lower. Certain things require a mess to do well. See, I was just killing sometime. I prefer to prepare my dinner by my own hand. Nothing like fresh and bloody borstwurst. <laughs> Those parts are from sister pigs? I do own a factory known for specializing in the canning of borstwurst. On occasion, I like to imbibe other parts of the sister pig. Did you fancy me a cannibal? Perish the thought. No, I don't eat the bodies, I disappear. A joke, that last was. So, what can I do for you? My full attention is at your disposal. Is he looking at me? Oh, Law. He's absolutely giving me the complete creeps. While I approve of your associate's cautious nature, I still teeter on the verge of losing my patience. Let us move forward with the present proceedings. <laughs> is that a blind taste test in the other room? Indeed it is. Did you partake of the experiment? I would like to hear your assessment of the quality of each sample, if so. <laughs> Not interested. Some other time, perhaps. Sublight sent me to kill you, but I'm sure we can work something out. By Sublight, you mean Catherine, do you not? Greedy, star-crossed sow. Listen, friend. The Borst King of Monarch does not negotiate with coveters. How about you bring me Catherine's severed head, and I will gift you a lifetime supply of Borst. Boy. <laughs> what if you and Catherine partnered up, two great empires combined? You desire that I should lower myself to Catherine's level of crassness and filth? I cannot fathom how that would cotton myself. The king built this golden monopoly brick by brick from the rubble when the corpse abandoned Monarch. No, he ain't the sort to partner up as that requires the sharing of power and profits. I think I don't recognize human remains. Those aren't just a big parts. I get the sense that you've disappeared bodies before. This is a valuable skill to Catherine. For true? You figure she will appreciate my skills? They did take me years to perfect. However, I remain Unconvinced she could provide the means to make the association worth my while. If you ain't noticed, I'm doing swell, ruling this kingdom on my own. Your staff doesn't appreciate you. They slack on the job, gossip behind your back. Ah, but Catherine would admire a man of my inclinations and skill. That is what you imply, yes? She will supply the worship I so rightly deserve. Very well. The king is interested. John Hancock me on the dotted line, friend. I will even <clears throat> give her a cut of the profits. Requiring she keeps clear of my short hairs. <laughs> That's it then? It? A fair and handsome deal is what it is. Tell Catherine she is permitted to dump the bodies each and every Tuesday, precisely at 3 a.m. <laughs> I can always kill Catherine instead of work for her for the right price. You ain't a very loyal employee, are you? Still, I reckon it's better that Sal than me be led to the slaughterhouse. All right. <clears throat> you got yourself a deal with the king. And a handsome one it is. 
Lol, just kidding. <laughs> oh, you have more health than I thought you did. <laughs> Why is this stealing? <laughs> oh, I forgot you actually get a quest for agreeing to help him. But yeah, we were never gonna help him. I just did that for the uh, skill point XP. <laughs> Because fuck this guy, look at him. <laughs> I mean, he's covered in acid now, but... He eats his employees. <laughs> oh. Does he have dual personality disorder? What's going on here? <laughs> he does. Special worst. Oh, also, see, they are on here, and killing their leader only gives you four percent negative. <laughs> I don't know why they're a faction on that list. Because <laughs> we'll never be seeing them again after this. that a uh, big room where we got all the people to leave reminder this unit is worth more than your entire extended family <laughs> times have we run through this town? Said you docked three days ago? I don't think I like Miss Catherine. Not just on account of the swearing, though she swears awful much. She's fine. Well, so long as you ain't on her bad side. Then she's liable to drown you in the waterfall. You Arthur, you here?
Whatever happened to him? <laughs> so. Please say the Oda corpse you're wearing is Clive's. <laughs> Slaughterhouse Clive is deceased. Huh. Not much boast to that declaration. Am I to take that to mean you didn't kill him? How many knuckleheads did you send to murder him? Of course it was me. Hired more than were successful, can tell you that. Still, this ought to compensate for your troubles. And take an aromatic. You stink like Sisty Pig. I found one of your sublight supply runners hiding in a cave. I'll presume you mean Arthur. The one you sent scurrying back like a sprat with his tail cut off? Reckon I'm happy he's alive. I'd be happier if the marauders who botched my drop were dead. Took care of your little drug running problem. Funny you don't look like Nelson Mason. Funnier still, I wasn't aware of an existing problem. He tried to cut costs by using sprats instead of auto loaders for transport. That thunderhead. Can't hardly fathom how that panned out. Let me guess, it involved blood and guts and fur in places that don't merit mention. Well, you got my begrudging gratitude for cleaning the mess. Anything else? Speaking to my left ear, will you? Right one's damaged. Last we talked, I only caught half of what you said. Well? Nope, nothing else. You just get paid for helping her people, and that's it. <laughs> Seriously though, where is Arthur? I don't know why you'd be here, but are you here? Yes. Knock, knock. Go away, White. That's not how the game works. I say, knock, knock, like I'm on the outside of the door. And you oh. Damage to creatures, plus 25%. Oh, am I still wearing my... yeah. Didn't know where he is. That's everything we can do. Finally. <laughs> oh, that's left his main story. Remember that? That's a thing that exists. <laughs> Forgot this game had a main story for a while there. Alright, which way are we going? Where is Thor's hammer? I completely missed that. I think it's up here. So I gotta run back down to the slaughterhouse anyway. Got any respawns? That's not the right way. leave you with the sounds of the wilderness because <laughs> this will only take a second give me a sec
I just realized that I didn't buy any saran wrap on my last grocery trip, so I have no way to properly cover this thing. <laughs> I'll cross that bridge when I get there. So we are going to do the caves, but we're also going to go up here anyway. <laughs> Just because it's free stuff. You know, the same thing we've been doing all game. I love this mountain. I can see so much from here. So many beasts would need killing. So many drinks would need drinking. We ought to camp out here tonight, you know? Make a fire, sing songs. <laughs> Right next to all the skeletons. We can use them as uh, firewood. Bro bones burn, right? <laughs> Your bugs. I see bugs. These little swarms are so hard to hit. <laughs> and here we are. Told you we'd make it in one piece. Station ain't too far now. And then there's these people. Hey, you! Get over here! There are marauders up ahead! I completely missed this people my first time here. I always wanted to poke through a high gain wireless. They only got one on Terra 2, you know, up in Byzantium. To be honest, I'm surprised it's still standing. Every time I set foot inside, I half expect the tower to fall over. This station's under the protection of the corporate compliance crew. You a marauder? Cause me and my sunshine, that's my gun if you were wondering, we don't take kindly to marauders. <laughs> sure, I'm totally a marauder, yes indeed. Uh, no. A coherent enough response, I reckon. Must be true. You're clear, but I would caution you against pressing on ahead. This station's plumb crawling with marauders, you know. What are you doing up here, hunting marauders? I take it you ain't met the other C3s. Me and Sunshine are doing exactly what we've been tasked with. You want more details? You ought to talk to my crew. They're guarding a small barracks to the southeast, by the edge of the mountain. What are you waiting for? Help me kill these marauders. There is nothing I'd enjoy more, but the C3s play it by the book. Usually. Go petition the boss man. 
Maybe you can convince him to alter my duties. How do I find the other C3s? See that path that runs underneath that giant archway? Follow it on down. There's a little station near the cliff. You'll find the rest of my crew there. Need something? Talk to Joy. And for the love of space, don't rile the marauders. Yeah, I came from that path the first time through, so I completely missed these people. I also had no idea that this cave was a thing. I also don't know where the entrance to the cave is. It's around here somewhere. Or the exit, I guess. How'd you get up here? Through the caves? Nice mustache. No, I didn't come up to the caves. Good answer. I wasn't looking forward to gut-shotting you. See, the thing is, I'm with the corporate compliance crew. C3, if you will. We're mercs. And our current contract mandates that we annihilate any creatures or persons that emerge from the tunnel. It's this voice actor Allow again. Me to intervene. It's my job to mediate any conflicts of interest regarding C3 and third parties. All right. First things first. To make a decision in this dispute, I'm going to need to know what your role in your organization is. There's like three male voice actors in this entire game. <laughs> Not counting the uh, companions. But then everyone else, like all the NPCs, is like three guys. <laughs> Just doing different voices. Roll? Technically I'm jobless. Jobless? What? Why? Uh, if you ain't out here on account of work, then might be you ought to explain. What are your intentions regarding Devil's Peak Station? That is why you've wandered out here, I presume. I need to speak with an information broker named Hiram. Our guidelines allow us some leeway in identifying threats to our client. Your unorthodox profession makes me think we ought to remove you from the premises permanently. However, the terms of our contract specifically targets marauders, iconoclasts, MSI operatives, and anyone deemed to hobo-like in appearance. And? As you don't appear to fit any of those categories, I'm afraid I can't quite make a call on you. Don't we, as a standing policy, provide an alternative to termination via financial restitution? Addy, our chief financial officer, could confirm. But I'm betting if you're willing to compensate us for our lost time and productivity due to this arbitration, you could pass. Can't we all just get along for free? We're on the same side here. I guess we might could. There's something I like about you. Can't put my finger on it, but I feel like I'd rather have you with us than against us. The fact all that right. I could one-shot all of you? Lance, unless you have a final point of contention to make, I'd say she's clear to go. Nah, I'll sign the clearance form. Just, <clears throat> I must advise you to steer clear of Devil's Peak Station. It's teeming with marauders. Anything else you need? I met Joy by the station. Was hoping to get you guys to do your job and take down the marauders. How did the station get end overrun by marauders if you were hired to guard it? Trying to say we didn't do our job? I'll have you know our contract was to stop any marauders coming from the caves. Didn't say nothing about the ones taking the mountain path. We'll simply clear them out later. Once we've got the go-ahead from Berthold. Who's Berthold, your boss? That's right. Berthold Fox is our boss man. Founder, president, and CEO. Bertie went down into the caves on a hunt for marauders, give or take, six hours ago. He's a hands-on type. Likes to handle the tougher tasks himself. Although, he should have been back. Going on six hours now. I'd ask you to check the caves for him, but then we'd have to kill you when you crawl back out. You're gonna kill Berthold when he returns from the caves, too? Space, no. The contract doesn't target C3s. How do we enforce it otherwise? I might cold-blooded, ain't she, Donald? 
<laughs> These guys are so dumb. <laughs> Make me an honorary C3 and I'll look for him. Done. Use this. Signal's locked to Birdie's tracker. Should lead you right to him. Or his body. Whatever you find. Bring him back to us, okay? Who exactly is your client? The guy calls himself the information broker. Like he's starring one of those fancy broadcast productions the station puts out. My guess is, he brokers information. Don, I don't care if the guy's name is the architect himself so long as we get paid well and paid on time. <laughs> no dispute here. I'm enjoying by the station. I was hoping to get you guys to do your job and take down the Marauders. Trying to say we didn't do our job? Oh. <laughs> the same dialogue, all right. Who's this? Watch where you step in, stranger. You lose a leg. I gotta file the incident report. <laughs> why, why is your voice so extra? Got a problem? Maybe I can help. Aw, oh, it's stealing. Even though they're not affiliated with anyone, so I think I could just... Rob a blind. Thunder. It sucks. <laughs> Perfect for a young gun with a quick fuse. That's probably a reference I don't get. Again, there's nothing worth. Like, why is it the last shot. <laughs> it's just a big old circle. in there somewhere. That's how it's done, Captain. Okay. <laughs> Come on. She's out of my reach. I'm falling so far behind on everyone that I usually watch, because I'm still, still watching GDQ. The enemy of your enemy, that's a hell of a name. Eh, <laughs> Gim, Gim bullets, I don't know why I care at this point. 
I have more than I'll ever need, but again. Where'd the lookout die? There he is. Don't step in the fire. <laughs> Your finest ally. Welcome to the stream. What's up? Ow. <laughs> My leg exploded. Bug? Any megas? Corkinos? I got a unique. Let's go fight it. <laughs> Go. Oh, Nyoko, get out of the way. What is this thing doing? <laughs> Ragdolling is what it's doing. Oh, I'm thirsty. Hold on. It's just a little crook in the wall. A bunch of skellies. And a gun. Anti-manta ray. Oh, it's this thing. <laughs> this weird gun that has triple shots. Acid is great against auto, auto mechanicals and armored humans. Too bad mantis hearts are neither. No, acid is still great against them. Do more damage than I'm on fire now. God, I love their ragdolls. <laughs> well, I admit, you're tougher than I expected. Are you only just now realizing this, Nyoka? <laughs> yeah, the science weapons are fun. They're not really practical, though. So on this difficulty, they're not great. <laughs> But, like, just messing around with the science build on normal is pretty fun. Like, I never showed it off, but the shrink ray does exactly what it advertises. <laughs> you can just shrink enemies down and step on them. But it takes way longer than just, say, bashing their skulls in normally. <laughs> Why did I run all the way back down here? Because we're going into that cave. I just have to find it. It's down here somewhere. That's a raptodon. That's a big raptodon. I'm gonna shoot it. Turn around. Just chilling over there. Your 
fine. Hey, another magnum melt. <laughs> well, now I really didn't need to buy that other one. God damn it. Oh, here it is. Looks like a freaking Diablo transition. Whoa. My eyes. <laughs> that was a hell of a change. Actually reminds me of one of my favorite areas from Borderlands 2. In the Sand Pirate DLC. There's the whole cave system in that that's freaking gorgeous looking. I still haven't gone back to Borderlands 3. I just, like, completely lost interest in that game. Terror is. Here we go. Can't see this one. We're pretty good at this. This game is so... So much more well written. I think gameplay wise, I might prefer B3, but it's just. It's so hard to get into, and I give so few shits about anyone in that game. <clears throat> but yeah, I just wanted to show this cave off, because I think a lot of people just skip around it. Great work! And it looks real nice. Actually, this might make a good video still. I'll say like, no, get out of the way. <laughs> Party members, get over here. Something like that. I could probably just use this gun on Raptodons at this point. I don't know why I haven't been. I'm actually not sure if they're uh, resistant to acid or not. Because, I mean, they spit acid, they have it inside them, so I would imagine they would be. But who knows? Actually, filling up. I think there's a vending machine in the uh, in the place, though. <laughs> Keep instinctively pressing right bumper after every shot.
Actually, I'm gonna have to pick up the pace if I want to finish this planet, this stream. Actually, I'm not going to be able to. There's a lot of dialogue. Ow. What? Are those all mantisaurs? <laughs> I got their attention from that far away. main quest, but I think the final quest with MSI and the uh, iconic class, they gotta wait till next time. Because it's kinda long. <laughs> we got a bunch of running around to do. <laughs> Excuse me. I saw that mag pick, I thought it was a mine. <laughs> big one. We can tiptoe around to the left or go in guns blazing. Up to you. I vote the latter. That assist was a violation of corporate law if I ever saw one. Since it was to my benefit, and we're largely in lawless lands, I'll look the other way. C3 owes you one, stranger. You haven't seen Constance, have you? Ah, there's a torso. It better be your legs over yonder, never mind. I'm Bertold. What in the void are you thinking, creeping around a mana queen like that? At the time, I was thinking... Please don't see me. Oh, law, I don't want to die. Nah, nah, nah. Now I'm thinking it was stupid to come in here. <laughs> what are you doing here? Killing marauders and hooligans, as I am handsomely paid to do. Of course, as me and Constance discovered, they ain't the only forms of life inhabiting these caverns. I owe you a debt for saving my neck, stranger, and I mean to pay it. There's a station up the way. It's where my C3s are posted. We can talk more there where it's safe. I'll be on my way. Once I've gathered up Constance's parts. Meet me at the camp. And try not to get shot on approach. Oh, I ain't worried about getting shot. <laughs> How much health do I have, actually? I'm curious. Uh, 4,300. <laughs> 64 armor rating. Oh, we are almost too heavy to move. No, we are too heavy to move. 
What the hell? <laughs> Flamethrower with corrosive? Just pre-attached? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Interesting. It's a shame to break that down. <laughs> I wonder if that's unique, like, is, it, is that always there? TTT nature. Here we go. Shots with this gun use up so little of the meter. And you get like pretty much the exact same amount back on kill. Actually you get more. <laughs> it's a quarter of the meter back on kill. Which is how I'm able to do that with the uh, sniper. Walk on these mines. <laughs> oh, I didn't get credit for the kills with the mines, but. is that status leader oh this is the thing I just used third to get to that uh vending machine <laughs> oh here's the cave I thought that was a wall I didn't even see that These guys are this way. <laughs> hey, Mana Queen Slayer! Glad you made it in one piece. After all, not everyone's so lucky. Meet my corporate compliance crew. Then check out our weapons locker inside. I reckon you'll find something you like. Then we call it even between us. Kind of odd for a group of mercs to label themselves as a corporate entity. A corporate model is the oldest and most efficient, not to mention stable structure history has ever shown us. Plus, corporations got certain rights, not entailed to individuals. I lead the C3s. Addy covers our payroll and expenditures. Lance handles the human capital. And Donald is our charming public face. Our system works. We've racked up more confirmed kills than any other crew you can hide. That was a very fast 35 minutes. Well, 
Why are you guys guarding the station? We were hired to do so. Why else? <clears throat> you didn't get the memo that we're mercenaries. Our client's a bit unorthodox, sure. He calls himself the broker and prefers the glow of a terminal to flesh and blood interaction. But I can't fault his work ethic. Our current gig's to stop, by means of lethal force, any creatures exiting the caverns, including but not limited to marauders, iconoclasts, and agents operating for the MSI. I'll call it even if you help me wipe out the marauders at the broadcast station. You drive a hard bargain, Manic Queen Slayer. It don't make much financial sense for C3 to expend resources on any killing beyond the contract stipulations. As the marauders didn't enter from the caves, the requirements are mm, murky. At the same time, we do want to keep our client alive until the payment's cleared. <laughs> you have to be the laziest Merc crew in Halcyon. Huh? I think you mean clever. We recommended the client safeguard himself, so I don't expect that the main doors will be accessible. Find a way to open them, and we'll clear any hostiles on the inside. I'd best radio ahead for Joy and Hudson to prep for us. They'll be at the station entrance, ready with our finest auto mechanicals to assist you. C3s, prepare to move out. I don't think any of them are going to. Uh... We're locked and loaded. Joy and Hudson know you're coming. We'll back you in the frontal assault on Devil's Peak. Thank the architect, Bertolt's back. Got a problem? Maybe I can help. Devil's Peak is as good. Yeah, I don't think any of these guys are actually going to survive this. They usually die. Check on my pizza. I can smell it, which means it's probably done, but we'll see. Like five more minutes should be good. Man, the stream's kind of a mess, I'm sorry. <laughs> Started late. Messing with weird timings, trying to make a pizza. Shoot up the place? Just kidding. Guy never sets foot outside. I wonder how they punch a signal through the gas giant's magnetic field. Can't be easy. Fox radioed ahead. Said I'm to follow you. Provide whatever support you need. If those bastards start shooting, we'll join in. I gotta warn you, my girl Sunshine here is a tad trigger happy. Of course, me and her will follow your lead. Just wanted you to know we wouldn't begrudge you of any violent inclinations. <laughs> Your gun's the trigger happy one, or you are? Ain't it the same, really? I'd say me and my piece mean each other halfway on the issue. She likes to be used, and I like to put her to good use. As so very often as I can. We can tell friend from foe, mind you, but it's probably best not to walk directly in front of us. Whatever you need. Just don't take too long. Idling makes me want to shoot something. Ain't we got more marauders to gut shot? Yes. 
Don't do a lot of damage to me anymore. One all right. There's another arrow. There's somebody else here. slow anyway, so I'm just going to deal with the phobia. <laughs> I can do that. What? What was that? What? Huh? What? Huh? What? 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 What was that? Huh? Get him! That dude's just sitting there like, oh. <laughs> These people are very smart. Case in point. <laughs> Sealed the door. <clears throat> he speaks easy. second and then we'll finish this. All right. So I oh, need a vending machine. You may not realize this being as I haven't used a melee weapon in a while. 
All right, we can pick stuff up again. <laughs> Here's the elevator, but they ain't gonna budge while this place is on lockdown. Guess we keep moving forward. Look for another way up. Did he not <laughs> see my approach? That would have been the second guy we killed on the toilet in one stream. If we had killed the other one. Emergency sirens will make your ears bleed, and if you accidentally trigger the fire suppression system, it can suck the air from the room faster than the station's last performance review. Socialization, you son of a bitch. Also, she hired me. To what purpose? I happen to have some significant problems I am dealing with right now. Marauders, running out of purple berry wine three days ago, not being able to bloody broadcast. <laughs> I see why Neoka tolerates you. Fine, I'll do the talking. By the hand of faith and my own cunning skill, I run this station. The Marauders may have other plans, and since my hired hands have clearly turned idle, it appears I have need of you. As my newest contractor, you may call me the Broker. Or we can call you Hiram, on account of that's your damn name, and doubly on the account of the Broker being a dumbass alternative. What? Everyone calls me that. Aside from you. <laughs> okay, broker. See, Neoka? I barricaded the broadcast center, but I can only hold out for so long. Clear the marauders out, and I'll pay you double the going rate. They destroy the transmission equipment, and I'll be out of business. The elevator and doors to the second floor are back online. Hurry before I have to lock them down again. How many marauders broke into the station? Too many, considering I hired a bunch of no-good mercs to keep them out in the first place. Already, they've caused considerable damage to the station's property. If they take down the broadcast equipment, I'll be out of a job, permanently. What's in it for me? Aside from the bits I'll be paying you, 
I trade in secrets, valuable ones for my vocation. I'm sure you can come up with something you might like to ask me about in person once I'm safe. Yeah, this guy's such a douche nugget. Hey, elevators to your right. Get ready. That's my left, actually. Ooh. UDL endgame armor. <laughs> Champion toss ball stick. Light assault rifle Mark III. I'm still holding out for Mark III's of good weapons. Yeah, Nioka, here's 89. <laughs> Much better helmet. Parvati, you can have one. I'll give the heavy armor to the boys. dialogues and give a shit about it. I mean I would give the hemi arbor to them, but it's so ugly. <laughs> Cussed me. <laughs> That's irritating. I think the bandits won. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Like these guys are worthless. They just always die. Even on normal. Actually, even on story. <laughs> I remember going through here. And I found them for the first time on my one bad guy playthrough. And did their little quest. And yeah, they just they just die. They're kind of garbage mercs. I think a lot of what Fox was telling us was uh, complete lies. Oh, there's so much here.
probably like, wait, where was that space captain? Aren't they supposed to be helping us? <laughs> oh, I'm, uh... Giving into my con compulsory looting disorder. <laughs> I must get all the things. I wonder if one of them had like a grenade launcher or a plasma launcher, maybe. Because, like, I do not know where this concussion came from. <laughs> What the hell concussed me? Oh, I wonder if it was maybe the telescoping staff. I think one of the melee guys had that and I just didn't even see him. But I'm pretty sure they only ever used the sentry saber, so I don't fucking know. I just suddenly have a concussion, I don't know why. Difficulty, it's permanent. <laughs> so we could depressurize the room and kill them all that way. But I think there's only one bandit left. Alright, let's go see what damage was caused up here. What'd we miss? <laughs> Twice. It's the last of them, I think. Here's the Addy. Here's Donald. Doesn't have anything on him. Well, no wonder he died. Just went in with his fists. Marauder lookout. Here's Fox. Not very, uh, not very strong. Oh yeah, I don't know where the other two are. <laughs> we know there was four of them. Yeah, I don't know. He's just gone. Hey, Ellie. Ah, Marauder free at last. I'll get the door. Do hurry on it. Bang. I'm gonna rob him blind first. I'm all right. The stream's almost over. I'm just. Finishing up the story bit. Also robbing this dude. Never thought I'd be ecstatic at having the walls painted in blood, but seeing as it's not mine, I'd say this calls for a celebration. And you got me my money's worth out of the C3s. I ought to have simply dealt with you in the first place. Make nothing of it. Oh no, my business is in trade. Not owing others the burden of a favor. This ought to square our debt. One oh, that's hefty a lot of money. payment for a highly valued service rendered. But, I admit, I do wonder why Nioka has brought you to me. Allow me to pose my question in another manner. Why, in the nebula, are you here? Can we continue our conversation from the intercom now? You're not an easy man to reach, broker. That is the primary goal behind locking myself high in a tower. Some folks don't look kindly on me being a purveyor of delicate information. Phineas must have sent you. He's the only one insane enough to send someone to Monarch to rush me. I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a-knocking. Look, I might be late, but I fulfill my contracts always. Oh, you do, do you? I have lost track of the number of beers you owe me for chasing raptodons off your stoop. Are you fibbing? Be honest. I take offense to that. Look, okay. I was delayed by MSI and the Iconoclasts. The idiots were scrambling all transmissions to override each other's broadcasts. But as you've shut them down, I'm back in business. I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser, and to the purchaser alone. However, to send the data, 
I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver so I can input the needed adjustments. I actually had no idea that there was a separate objectives for stopping the other two from scrambling the broadcasts, because I usually just do that anyway. <laughs> Phineas doesn't trust too many people. How do you like, hook up with you? You make it sound so scandalous. Phineas has been in hiding for the past 35 years. He got in touch with Nioka first, who I use as a physical go-between. The rest is history. Now you hold on. I do not physically go between anyone but that of my choose... Oh. Oh. Apologies. You meant... Right. Yes. I brave the wilderness so you don't have to. Precisely. I really ought to give you a raise. Or actually buy her those beers. Fine, tell me how to fix it. It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. Except it needs three keys before it'll activate and I have to go find them, right? Got it. <laughs> Terrific. I'll be here. Waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you. Long guns 100. Long gun critical hits ignore 100% armor. We are now a sniper master. Master of snipage. I don't know what to do with this one extra point, but we'll start going towards science. I need science 100 as well. <laughs> Excuse me. You can read this if you want, I don't feel like it. I'm gonna leave you guys off on a cliffhanger that we will do next time. told us to leave without flinging insults at our persons. He really does like you, Captain. What in the void blasted hell is that? Suddenly. <laughs> Black holes! 
Big ball of fire? No, totally missed it. Look, there's not enough room in this tower for two sarcastic hole heads, so one of us has to knock it off. Right. I reckon we both know who that'll fall to. Oh well, a pity for the crew, but I can't see how it affects me. Hiram? Can you hear me? Did you see that? Architect saved me from swindlers and fools. Sanjar, what are you bloody doing on my channel? Did MSI, or did MSI not cease broadcasting? Yes, but... Hiram! Hiram, are you there? Oh, it's a reunion! Group hug! Not without a physical contact waiver. Ah, the good captain. The truth brings us together once more. Our salvation has come crashing through the stratosphere. We need only collect its weapons. Are you mad? That's a UDL gunship. You'd probably shoot your own toes off. You're acting like children. Par for the course, really. You should do like I do. <coughs> Get out while you still retain a shred of sanity. We could use the gunship's armaments to defend Stellar Bay, but we need its targeting module. Our message is so close to breaking free of this planet and spreading to the stars. Help us secure that module and we will save our colony. Listen, I don't care a single whit what you do, so long as you leave me out of it. Which means, get off my void damn channel! I'm more than finished with you lot. <laughs> See, that actually... Gives us a new quest. Candid's Cradle. Which is the final, uh... They could still stick the landing, 0 out of 10 from the Monarch Judge. <laughs> we also have to talk to Hiram again for Starcross Troopers. We have to go back to... Groundbreaker for this and this. We still got some dumb stuff to do. That's for next time. Oh, we also have to finally complete long distance and do more stuff with the board. Which we haven't done in a while. More of words fizzles. That's your, uh... That's your cliffhanger ending. The ship fallen from space. <laughs> yeah, we're actually really close to the DLC content. That unlocks after we complete the story quest for Monarch. Which I'm probably not going to do right away. I'm probably going to do the Byzantium story stuff first, and then we'll do the DLC before we do the Hope. But, for now we're done. <laughs> I went 20 minutes over my stopping point. I gotta go eat. So, yeah. I don't know what I'll do over the weekend. Probably Monster Hunter, definitely Monster Hunter, and then, I don't know. Might play some of this, might take a day off, we'll see. But for now, I'm out. Have a good night. See you when I see you. Stay fresh.